Attaching the biopsy needle to the RPD biopsy syringe. Attach the desired biopsy needle to the needle fitting. The first method is to rotate the needle onto the needle fitting of the RPD. The second method is to rotate the RPD onto the biopsy needle. The needle fitting of the RPD has a safety anti-stripping mechanism that helps prevent over-tightening of the needle while maintaining an airtight seal. If over-tightened, the needle hub permits the needle to jump to protect the needle and fitting from damage while still maintaining an airtight seal. During the attachment of the needle, the operator should not mistake this unique anti-stripping safety feature for a malfunction of the device. Fine Needle Aspiration Biopsy, FNA, and CVS with the RPD. The RPD is typically used for FNA of the thyroid, breast, lung, parotid, liver, and muscle, and is also used for chorionic villus sampling, CVS, a similar biopsy procedure in obstetrics. Use of vacuum during FNA has been shown to increase tissue biopsy yield by 75% to 200%, which is vital for the diagnosis of benign, fibrous cystic or low cellularity lesions. Because the 10 mil RPD easily generates extremely high levels of vacuum to permit high yield biopsy, the 10 mil RPD rather than the 25 mil RPD is preferred by most proceduralists. Holding the RPD for FNA. The RPD can be held in alternative grips depending on the clinical situation. The one-handed classic syringe grip for FNA. The RPD is held with the index and middle fingers on the finger flanges, the thumb rests on the injection plunger, and the needle is introduced into the lesion. The free hand is used to palpate the lesion, operate the ultrasound transducer, or for other functions. The aspiration plunger is depressed with the thumb to generate vacuum for biopsy. The biopsy is taken with quick in and out motions. The aspirator plunger is released prior to extracting the needle to release the vacuum and to prevent the sample from being aspirated into the barrel of the RPD.